Bro, it's still warm in the UK. What is going on? There's not been rain for a couple of days. This isn't normal. Before I start this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone on the TikTok account that this is getting posted to, which is Callum's TikTok. You guys have been killing it on the horizontal long form content. I love you for supporting this channel. Another thing, don't judge me. I'm in a tank top, it's hot. Let's get on with the video before I go on a massive tangent again. So today, obviously we've got another keyboard and this one is from Melgeek. This is their brand new up and coming Made 68 Pro, not to be confused with the standard Made 68. Now what's the difference between the Pro and the non-Pro is this one is mechanical switches and it also has a theme. The theme they've gone with is from Greek philosophical classic elements. You've got air, earth, fire and water. I obviously went for air because I'm an Aquarius, even though I thought it was for water. It's not, I've been lied to, it's air, so that's why we went for it. Plus it looks so good in this crispy white. Before we jump into the pros, the cons and my overall conclusion, let's go over some of the specs while showing off some beautiful B-roll of this baby. So this one is the Made 68 Pro. They also will be releasing a Made 84 Pro, which gives you a couple of extra buttons for you. And this is the Hall Effect keyboard designed for pro gamers. So you can unleash your gaming potential, experience precision and speed with rapid trigger. It has real 8,000 Hertz pollen rate with a 0.125 MS latency and a 0.01 millimeter RT accuracy. Now the cool thing about this board is that it actually allows multiple magnetic switches. So you can switch to a more powerful and stable magnetic switch at any key position where it then allows you to experience the ultimate performance while minimizing your cost. So if you want a more of a durable sturdy switch on WASD you could do so compared to the rest of the board. And obviously being a magnetic switch it allows you to have adjustable activation points and with the Melgeek exclusive switch this goes down to a 0.01 millimeter accuracy which is incredibly fast. Then giving you the rapid trigger on top which allows you to eliminate switch movement delay by dynamically activating and deactivating keys based on travel distance rather than a fixed key travel. Then you also have the 4-in-1 DKS which is through the software customization which effortlessly triggers four preset actions with a single tap so you can actually create your own advanced combos to overtake the competition. With the software it is very simple to use like many other softwares out there you can change your colors, you can change the brightness, the different accuration points of the switches if you want certain buttons to be quicker, if you want rapid trigger on certain keys also this allows you to do that with ease and you can also create super keys which is for your FN keys, your macros and your shortcuts and your RGB lighting effects with 16 million RGB. When it comes to the actual board itself, it's hot swappable. It has a tray mounted structure. It works for Mac, Windows and Linux and it is an automatic calibration. So you don't have to do anything as soon as you plug it in. You could just plug and play. So a quick rundown of the exact specs of this board. The number of keys is 68. The layout is ANSI, which is the US base. It is hot swappable. The switch type is TTC Magneto. Keycap material is ABS double shot. It also has rapid trigger, adjustable accelerations from 0.1 to 4 millimeters, and the point sensitivity of 0.01 millimeter. Dimensions are 55 by 185 by 355 millimeters. Also having the 4 in 1 action keys, compatible with Mac, Windows, and Linux. This is a wired board. The N key rollover is supported. It has a polling rate of 8,000 hertz, a backlight of 60 million RGB, with backlight types from breathing, flash, and so on. It weighs 800. 50 grams and it is coming in currently on pre-order at $99 but I believe when it does actually drop it will be at around $130 so you can go and pre-order it now for a lot less and you do get a nice free switch puller. So that is all the specs of this board. I have got the Kickstarter up here because it does say the Pro Series timeline on Kickstarter. So the pre-launch started on July the 31st. It's currently going to go live on Kickstarter on August the 20th. So you can actually get the VIP price at $99 if you get it when it launches. And then the end of the campaign is going to be November the 12th, 2024. And then that's when they'll start shipping them out. Once the Kickstarter is completely done, I'm guessing after November 12th, that's when they'll start producing or even just shipping them out. So there will be a link in my bio and also in the description that you can go to and sign up for the Kickstarter. Or once the Kickstarter comes available, I'll actually change the link to just go directly to the Kickstarter. And then once it's ended, I'll change it again to directly to the website. So now let's actually go over my preferences and you know my pros and cons like we always do, build quality and so forth. Starting off with the build quality, for me, when I first saw this, I thought it was gonna be an aluminium case. Unfortunately, it's just the sides, but you can change these sides if you really wanted to. If you've got all four, you know, you wanted to switch it around and have a different color board, it's customizable. But for me, it was the initial thought of thinking this was aluminium. As soon as it turned up and it was plastic, it sort of did make me hesitant of why 
it would be so expensive with the materials that they've used. But then after using this board, I can see why it is the price it is. It's still budget, don't get me wrong. It's not overpriced for what it is. It's just when they launched this, it did look like the case was gonna be made out of metal and not plastic. So that was a huge throw off. It doesn't define the board itself. It doesn't stop it from doing its job. The actuation point is super quick. I've actually turned it up because I can't use it when it's at its lowest because the slightest tap and it presses the button. So I'm hitting so many misclicks when typing. So it'd be pretty cool if I can find it in the software that I can make a macro button that I click and it changes the whole board from sort of esports mode into typing mode where the actuation point's a bit higher. I need to look into that because that would be actually fire uh, or air. But for me, the build quality, like I say, plastic base the top bit here is plastic also and then the side panels are made of aluminium it's not a bad quality plastic it's not got any bend to it it's a sturdy ass board let me tell you now it's not this cheap plastic you're going to find on like timu whatever it is a very durable plastic well made as well so the style of the keycaps i believe they're cherry profile or they might be the uh the one under cherry where it's a slight tilt but again feels fantastic in the hands for typing now the sound of it will have a sound test at the end but for me it just sounds good it might not sound good to everyone but for me it's just enough but overall build quality it is made well the rgb looks nice the little strip at the back here looks nice it's just it threw me that it's plastic but moving on to my sort of like nick picks about this i think one might be the fact there's no adjustable feet i tend to like having boards that have adjustable feet so i can actually put it to a different height if needed just for gaming or typing experiences find that if they're static on the floor sometimes you can get a bit of wrist cramp so that's just that's more of a personal preference for me anything else with this board i can't really fault it does its job the software works well maybe if the software a bit more friendly to the eye because it took me a while to figure out how to select all the keyboard and then i realized there's actually a button at the very bottom right to say select all so I was sitting there clicking all the buttons individually before I noticed that button. So maybe if it was just a bit more thought out and not so B-Tech and basic, then that would probably be a bonus for me. But that's probably the only thing that I can fault. I haven't found that there's any delay, any glitches. It's not disconnected at any point. And for me, that's a massive thing. If I'm playing a game and a keyboard disconnects or just has faults from the get-go and you have to go and update drivers and stuff, that's not for me. I like a, I like a board that I can plug in. It's ready to go. I can test it. I can just enjoy it and not have to faff around with settings and things like that. But obviously being a magnetic switch keyboard, you do have to change some settings here and there, but that's more of a personal preference. It's not so much to do with it working straight out of the box. So pros and cons, I can't really find any cons with this as of yet. I will let you know if you ask me any questions and I find anything wrong with it that you personally want to find out. But from right now, using this for about a week or so, I haven't had any issues. I've been gaming with it. I've been typing with it, emails and all of that jazz. And it just, it, it just works. You know, I can't really say anything bad about this. For the price you're going to get, absolutely worth it again maybe if they brought out an aluminium case upgrade that would be fire but other than that i mean it's a keyboard at the end of the day which does the magnetic switches and just works if you want to check this out again there'll be a link in the bio or in the description which you can go to and check out but now let's move over to the sound test so you can hear it for yourself Well, that's the board and that's everything. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below so then we can actually start a conversation. And if you have any questions, I can sort of try and answer them best of my ability. But anyway, capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next video.